Hello everyone, this is Brian, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. You only live once, Hardcore Edition, the game where we never ever heal. And today, we are just living Salida Loca, finding a Dean stash, a secret stash under this little thing, just outside of the uh, power switching station or whatever it's called. We're just coming back through the tunnel that used to be filled with cloud, but we turned back on the ventilation system. So today, as we live Salida Loca, we are going to do the other part. See, look how the beeper is beeping there. We, when you go under that arch, the beeper starts beeping. And so there is a, there's a radio thing. And we need to get over here. And I happen to know that the speaker is right there. It's interesting, there's all this little fossilized cloud crud in here, as well as bear traps for the uh, not light of step. So we come over here to the other end of this formerly cloud-filled road. We see another one of these. Shotguns are excellent weapon for taking out speakers because you just got to hit the speaker with anything at all and it'll go away. Uh, here we have a little... Yeah, I think there is a... Yes! A Dean Secret Stash is in this little sub-store. We're going to have to make a run for it through the cloud, but that is why we have Dean in our party so that we can get in here, check out his secret stash. And as soon as we close it, we gotta get right back out. We run away, okay. We are getting, you know, the rest of the, I believe the rest of the Dean secret stashes are in. Uh, unless I missed one somewhere, we should be picking up the last of them here, here in the Salida, Salida del Sol, which means sunset. And when we finish it, we'll go to Puesta del Sol, which means sunrise. It happens. All right, now, this door here to my right leads to the other section of Salida del Sol. It leads to Salida del Sol North. I guess we're in Salida del Sol South. We'll just check this other little room out here. So the north half is the second half. Ooh, Tales of the Jerky Town. Junk vendor. That is permanent barter increase, and our barter will never reach 100, so it's certainly any increase we can get is always good, any permanent increase. All right, I think this is just a lore terminal. Got some lore for us, because, you know, you need more. Check out the rest of it. And then we are heading into Salida del Sol North. But I just realized, let's go to this thing. The siren song, the siren call of the magic mini machine. All right. Light off. Because when we get in here, we are going to be back in the soup with the bad people, the ghost people. They are out here. All right, so we start in this little, what did you call it, room, uh, apartment room. Let's check it out real quick. But outside, unfortunately, this is a sort of constrained space because we're gonna go down these stairs and out of the apartment and into the street but we're not in a, we don't have a lot of stuff at our backs, as it were, when the ghost people find us. And I think we're, there's going to be at least one of the scary, bad kind of ghost people. The, the seeker that throws the blow up -y things. I'm going to sneak down here and... Bad people should be off to the right. I don't see a red dot yet. But, nope, red dot. No red dot. It's there. 
problem is, I don't think he's the only one to get up. Since I can get up the pole, some kind of radio and one of these side things. I have to make sure I don't. There he is. Alright, can I get him? Right part, get him on. Oh, oh, I should have taken the shot. just don't want that guy chasing me back into the room. There's not a lot of other places to go that don't have radio keeping and things like that. There he goes, there he goes. Uh, don't see me. Oh, there you are. Oh, he didn't die. He didn't die. That is really extra bad. <laughs> that is, uh, that is not what we Mines here. Oh, he comes in the door. Oh, he's actually pretty damaged. He took some extra damage. Well, I don't want to stand near that mine if he's going to come around here. The harvester. Let's go for some quick machine gun action. All right, I think that was the harvester went down. Somebody is right down there. I don't know if he's thrown his, thrown his thing or not. Thrown his gas bomb, fire bomb. Alright, I think we gotta just go for it here. Total shoot out. Boom! Oh, and go seeker down. That is good news. Okay, we're back to hidden. Got a gas bomb. Okay, for all I know, they may still have a gas bomb in their inventory after they've thrown their gas bomb. But I don't think they do. It'll, I should check that. <laughs> Next time one throws its gas bomb at me, if I survive. Alright. So somewhere in here is a radio. Is it in that store off to the left? There's a store in here. It's back here. Okay, there's the store with the hologram vendor. And I think if I come in here, there's the vendor and a vending machine. Very ah yes, the speaker. That is the one. See, the speaker is just a direct radius. It passes through walls. It's it doesn't it doesn't model sound in this, uh, uh, in this uh, DLC. It just looks at how literally how far you are in 3D space away from the thing. So it was doing it through the wall, but not at this end of this room. All right, so here we have a hologram vendor, and we can get rid of a lot of our crap and get some really yummy pre-war money that has no weight but does have value. Always a good thing to be carrying around. You have to kind of go back and forth with this to make it to make it work, but you get the back. All right, so I'm gonna just loot the rest of this silly store. You know, there's actually some reasonable loot in here. Go around and pick it up and do some returning of things. All right, light off, Pip Boy. Light. Just gotta make sure we don't. Alright, so that gate leads, I think, back into the square, but it leads through some clouds. We won't be using it often. We can obviously use it right now, but it won't be as useful to us later. Uh, because right now we got Dean in our party. He's not with us, uh, but I'm, so I'm using his perk without... Alright, there's a radio. This is just a plain radio on here. But he's in our party so that we can do the cloud stuff. So I don't accidentally take a whole bunch of damage by walking into the cloud. He's not physically with me because, well, one, it feels a little bit like cheating to have him help me in the fight, and two, uh, he could also actually be a disadvantage. He could aggro, aggro the bad guys at, at a point when I'm trying to be stealthy. So in, you know, there's pluses and minuses 
of Dean, but I, I do feel like it is fair to use his perk, uh, because you're supposed to be able to have the, the perk in here, and that doesn't have in our, uh, our fighting. And gives us a chance to both explore interesting things, which I think is fun to explore, and not to accidentally lose health by walking into some little pixel of, uh, of red cloud. The, the red cloud, it can be a little hard to see where the boundaries are. Sometimes it looks like you're in cloud, but you're not. Sometimes it looks like you're not in cloud, but you're in. So here we have Ooh, more lore, infrastructure lore. We're just going to read the lore. All right, so back down here. Look at all that scary cloud down there. So that... This is a whole square of cloud. And I would normally not go in a square of cloud. In fact, it's a, a square of cloud with a gate. A gate over there is, is a lock, a locked gate. And I wouldn't normally fool with this, except it's one of the Dean secret stashes. And I want to find Dean, and I want to get all the Dean secret stashes. So what we're going to do, going to do is we're going to jump off this, and right under where I'm standing right now is the Dean secret stash. And then we got to run over there either unlock the thing or I think maybe you have to get the key from the guy. Use a GRX. Okay, so get the Dean Secret stash. Let's see what we want. Okay, and then we're gonna be running all the way over here. Quick, 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 quick. Right in the pixels by the gate. There is no cloud, just inside there. So now we can go over here and quickly get the key. And so it's important to, I, did, I wouldn't have had time to find the key without taking some damage. This found, I didn't realize I did. So we're back, this, the gate takes us back to, see we're in the very beginning in the villa. I'm just gonna go back since we're in the villa. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little trip to the the workshop room very useful workshop room we can make gas bombs now make weapon repair kits but we're gonna convert our um, convert our microfusion cells over Problem. We'll just press some police pistols together into one nice police pistol. Alright, now. Back this way. Salida del Sol South. So we have to. We can't go back through that gate because there's no way back up once you jump off. So we go back to the door we went in through before to the north so here we are in that apartment where we hope the guys wouldn't follow us upstairs and we are back doing this but we have cleaned out that particular secret stash all right so there are two ways that this thing goes i could go up this way and around in a circle to the left let's see down here. Here's another Dean's secret stash. I think there's a radio or something in here. Yes, there's a radio. I could just lob a grenade over there and it would blow up, a grenade anywhere near it, but I, yeah, okay, it's just a radio, we'll turn it off. So you can actually click on a radio and turn it off. You don't have to shoot it. And the Dean's secret stash is hiding up at the top. Microfusion cells. Excellent. Sure we got everything in here. All right, so that is a dead end. That other staircase does 
actually before this, leads. The other staircase actually leads onward in this level in one of the directions onward. But it also leads to yet another deep secret stash. You know, in some ways, the secretest stash of them all. The, I think it is the hardest to find. Is there anything on this balcony? Well, there is a little box. Ooh, that's a lot of... Look at all these microfusion cells just sitting everywhere. Oh, that is good. Oh, we're going to make some overcharged and max charged ones now. Okay. But see, if we jump on this thing and we follow this roof around, we are going to find the secretest stash of them all. The secretest deep stash. Now, it's actually kind of almost right over where we first started. See, there's the... There's the cloud-filled square, and here's a hole in the wall. And so there is a secret stash. And there's more than just the secret stash, because there's all these desks that are full of crud. Some of it can be good crud. We're up to 13 of 15. I'm starting to realize I must have missed a Dean secret stash back in one of the earlier areas. I think I know where it was. I think it might have been on the residential district. I don't think I cleaned that completely out when we picked Dean up. But then, here is the Sierra Madre Snow Globe. And notice that, see, in the DLC, you don't have to go back and sell it to Mr. House or whatever. You just get 2000 right away. And, of course, in this DLC, you don't even get bottle caps. You get you get Sierra Madre chips. All right, so now this is the beginning of one of the ways around. The other way around in this circle is to go go through the hologram vendor and then turn right a few times uh, and that will get us to the same place but I'm going to clean out both sides of it I want this area completely clean of ghost people and loot so we go through this ruined apartment we go back downstairs there's like a bar area and pool tables down here something like that See a red dot. Oh, 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 danger. Danger is bad. How did he see me? Machine gun, maybe? If we have to go quick. Oh, he's just a trapper. He is just a trapper. That is okay. He only has melee weapons. We are literally going to shoot him with this pistol. <laughs> Sometimes guys are only really so he gets close he has a really scary charge attack once he gets close so you, you'll think he's just walking really slowly towards you and when he gets a little nearer all of a sudden he really does you did i get a critical hit on him I did a lot of damage all at once i sort of am trying to aim at his one particular leg just in case like because if i if I cripple him, you know, and essentially punch a hole in his suit, then he instantly dies. Alright, so we did him in, and apparently also did a challenge to kill ten ghost trappers. That must have been our tenth, or our twentieth, depending on how this challenge works. I'm just going to look around behind. Oh, we found a Rataway code, if we were in the Rataway. This area doesn't actually have a lot of radiation. This whole DLC just doesn't have a lot of radiation, so it's kind of a... kind of a non-thing to have Rataway. It's sort of like the cloud stands in as a more advanced form of radiation. I mean, if you think of it in game design terms, it's, you know, it's a radius where it's painful to stand, and it's much more painful to stand in cloud than it is to stand in radiation, because radiation is really slow. 
All right, this square, there's nothing on the side. You can't go anywhere except forward through the square, but this is a kind of octagonal square with these trees. I think at the other end of this is a tunnel, and I think it's going to make our beeper beep, which is... I don't know why I try to get all these. I guess, you know, these bear traps are worth um, two experience points each if you're if you're still leveling up. And I'm not used to being having a level, uh, have a 30 level count. Okay, this tunnel has a beeper to beep. And so, see those stairs right there? Okay, the stair, up the stairs and then behind your head are where the beeper is. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anybody like right there around the corner to be mean to me right to the edge and we're gonna go for it up the thing and right behind me before anything bad happens okay so i'm in caution and there's a bear trap but now up these stairs i can get to this balcony over this over this square and the square with this balcony is the one that we ultimately want to get to. This the, the two different paths of which I've just shown you one, both lead to this square. Just kill the guy. I can get my thing on him. Oh, I got one. I actually got the shot in. And oh, a harvester too. Okay, so those stairs and that light go to the next part of the level. Whereas, let's see, the light on. Go back down this way. Just go in the main. Make sure there's nothing here. Yeah, that's where we came. All right, so here we are in the square. Up the stairs is the next part of the level. But then off to our left is back to the hologram vendor around the other way. Now, I can't remember. There may not be anybody else down here right now but we are gonna just check all right so we are okay we are clear to head forward in the level so the the two ways now come back together but then they split again right here in this building because i can go up the stairs it's like a three-story there's three stories of the building or I can go around out here to the right, past this that vending machine out there, and end up in a square where we can go up and down out in the outdoor square. And so again, it's another little split, but we've got red dots, so we're going to go slowly. I think these are rad roaches. Yes, they are. Rad roaches. I think there are two of them in this square. We're just going to blow them away. I like to blow them away so they don't clutter up my red thing. Now, it's funny, this, this particular vending machine, you have to quote-unquote repair it, but it'll take a very high repair. Uh, and I don't know, who, who does dead money at a low level? I, do you? <laughs> I don't do dead money at a low level. Le dead money is a hard DLC. Uh, and so I like to have powers and abilities and equipment and all of that stuff. Not so much equipment, because it takes it all away from you. But I don't want to have, you know, low skills at things. I want to be able to get in all the doors. I want to be able to, you know, just do all the stuff. There's, there's another one. Another stupid rad rat. So this ramp out here goes up, but first we can look in the in this little strange store. Oh, it's a bathroom. It's not a store. It's got some chips. Somebody left. It's got some potties, but not very nice potties. Ooh. Somewhere. Take some radiation damage, drink from the potty. 
right. And so then, see there is one of the ways forward and we can go up this way or we can go through the indoor side. Let's go ahead and make sure that's all cleared out. Sure, stay hidden. All right, here's the middle level. See, we're going around the other way this time. We're gonna end up in that same square we were just in and blew the cockroaches away. It's actually kind of a cool level because it splits up and stuff. A little bit of drag mines, that's useful. May have an imminent use for that. top floor of this. I think we've got some lore coming at us. Yep. That's the foreman. No one's wised up yet. History's history's sake. Or history's sake. <laughs> Depending on uh, your opinion. Alright, so now we are up above the same square. Look down, look back that way. That's the that's where we came, came from long ago. That's the square that leads in. But then over here, that is the way forward, and this is where the cockroaches were. And I'm just going to jump over here and go to this room. Now there is a trip wire in this room. I wouldn't actually personally trip, but it's one of those ones, you know, you just don't want that thing to accidentally fall on you if you physics something. Lots of church donging coming here. We're getting toward the bell tower, and the bell tower... So, the thing that's going on here in both Salida del Sol and Puesta del Sol is we're eventually going to be getting all three of our companions to their spot for the gala event. And then my spot for the gala event, I have one too, is at the top of the bell tower. So I'm working my way. My preferred way to do this is to just clear all this stuff out on all the sides while I have Dean's perk so I can go through Cloud, and then I'll come back and place all the companions, and then we'll activate the Gala event. Do a little bit of returning at the recipe machine. Trapper, that's good. Just gonna do some pistol. Hey, you come here, Mr. Trapper. Or, or don't come here. Just stay over there and let you. That's fine. Now, when you're doing this, you always want to know that you've got an open area at your back. You want to know which way you're going. So see, this is... I'm just going to go back around this thing. The cockroaches were. The rad roaches. They fell down there. That's actually very convenient. Back up. Yeah, you can jump around all at once. Just... Yeah, 
hit. Oh, blew his head off. Very nice. And he is dead. You just want to make sure you always you don't suddenly find yourself backing your way into a cul-de-sac if you do. I I know this level pretty well. I, I play. I love this DLC, and I've played it a bunch of times. So I, you know, kind of. Uh, if if I'm not calling out uh, how important it is, I just want to make sure I'm calling out how important it is to know what's behind you when you're going backwards with a with a trapper in front of you. Even more so, so if a seeker throws his gas bomb at you, then he doesn't have another, and he can only be melee. But he has a fast throw, and he's a seeker now. Uh, he has an even faster and scarier charge that he does um, with his knife spear. So you don't want to you don't want to get stuck with him. Beeper in here. Beep. Sure, I know. Okay, I think it's one of those halfway up the stairs beepers. A uh, lore. And we'll run back out. Now, the other companion, Christine, makes the beepers. Why, well, there he is. Whoops, that was... <laughs> I think I missed. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. Kind of lost my... Lost my morale there. It'd be smarter if I... Had my shotgun for that. Or put, or put it in first person mode so I know I can count on the aim. Beep the beeper with the shotgun and the first person view. There we go. Live in Salida Loca. Caught one little tick of tick of life to him, but he still got his gas bomb. He could do a whole bunch of damage to me. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna vat him some death. No, no, <laughs> it hit the ceiling. It was obstruct. Oh, oh, ah, oh, he missed me. Oh, he missed me. He is so mine now. Now he has to get close to me to do his charge attack. He is so... He has no more thing. Where is he? He has got one freaking sliver of thing, and he almost got me with a gas bomb. He is so... He is so getting it. Where'd he go? find him suddenly right next to me. Really, he really made tracks. Oh, there is the Dean Secret Stash. This would, this would normally, I think, be the 15th Dean Secret Stash, but I think I missed one before. We'll go back and get him in a bit. That that staircase goes up through cloud, but to the place where I was. I'm just going to go back around the indoor way, non-cloud way. He must have gone all the way back around there, all the way back outside to that thing. He went up that cloud-filled staircase that I totally didn't go up. Just checking out this 
room while I'm here. But we are going back up here and we are going to kill us a one dot seeker. Didn't screw around, use the machine gun or the automatic rifle, if you will. All right, now the way forward is up this big staircase. This takes us up to the next area, the Campanas del Sol, which is Spanish for Campanas del Sol. I think it might mean like Field of the Sun. You think it means Field of the Sun? That's just my my Latin cognate guess. So this room on this side is, this is a little dead end room. So it, in other words, just a place in which loot is contained. But on the other side, over there where there's that light, that is the way into a thing that goes, a tunnel that goes all the way around. Oh, danger, 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 continuing that later. Someone has seen me, we're going back here. Okay, we're getting again. So, but up, oh, oh, there's a guy. All right, and that's where we want to get to. We want to get to that hole in the bell tower. And now that he has a hole in his head, that'll be a little bit easier. But to get up to that second floor, we have to go in, go all the way forward and to the left up there at the end of this, this uh, campanas or whatever this is. And then we're going to go in a passageway that's going to go all the way around and loop around to the right side. And we're going to come back all the way around those balconies. And we're going to come out up at the top over there off to this. And then walk around the balconies to that hole we want to get to. Now make sure we... So this is actually the way in. I see we have still a lot of red dots. And I think when we go in there, at some point we go in there, it's going to actually spawn more guys in this. Remember that it spawns at least a harvester right in here. I'm going to try to leave him up present. Weapons, I would be more likely to find the thing I want. So let's leave him. So I remember, it's right. Kind of come out. There he is standing there, and I think it's a harvester. Because that's sort of, you know, if he can spawn in after I've gone through, then I feel like I can leave some mines for him to spawn onto. I think that's fair. What do you think? I think it's fair. Of course it's fair. Alright, so here we have weird embalming fluids and things. And a frowny face. I think there's a little theme of little frowny faces through here in places where people die in an accident. Okay. Down here, we have to go through the wine cellar. The big, big, grunty wine cellar. Guys in the wine cellar. He's a trapper. It doesn't matter, but I wouldn't mind killing him. Why is he all damaged? Sometimes it spawns these guys damaged. Or sick crippled, I should say. He's got full health. There we go. Leg crippled. Dead. Guy. Yeah, when, they, when he's already got his limbs all half damaged, then he's really easy to cripple. Maybe that's... Maybe they do that in... Oh, 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 that was... 
that was somebody's. That guy. Alright. We are gonna. There is a seeker. Uh, I got 20. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta not miss. That's, uh. The whole grenade thing. I don't want to get too close to him because he could charge me right up those stairs. I feel like he's right there. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. We killed him. Excellent. That's good. Alright, there's still another red dot. I'm sure if it's down here or in a different section. Wine cellar, and there's all sorts of bottles of red wine here. Not actually useful for anything. Make your way through here, and then you end up going upstairs and back up all the way to the second floor. Where you can then make your way around the villa. Mind you, there's also the guy that spawns, or maybe that guy is the guy that spawns. The other side of the embalming <laughs> complex. Okay, down on the second floor. That's good. Make some progress. Here's where that guy, yeah, there he is. He spawned. Oh, second. There's two guys. Good hit. Ooh, that was a uh, throw of knife spears. I don't want to get hit by a knife spear, frankly. He's coming in the passageway. He's coming in after us. Is he? Coming back out of there. Would much rather him. I'd much rather him nail him at a distance there. The spawn guy. Some damage, but not very much. I think we got surprised. I feel like there's this guy coming, coming through this way at us. I don't want to get. Ah! It's a harvester right through there. Let's see. Can we nail him with some machine gun? Staircase. Alright, wild grenades. Oh! Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. 55 points of damage. I just did myself 55 points of damage. That's actually the most damage we've taken at any one time this game. And it's all because I was playing around with grenades indoors. That is really, that is really lame. That is lame. All right, so now we are trapped between the one guy and the other guy. Here's another on 
the second floor there's this one little cul-de-sac room that just has some loot in it. Comes and not be completely out on the thing. Salvo, no, not resistance. Just has one little tick of life, and he did. He didn't do 55 points of damage to us. He he induced me to do 55 damage points of damage to myself. That is really sad. Now he's coming around here. Look at the loot. Well, the largest amount of damage done in a single plop was done by me. <laughs> With a grenade. Oh, there he is. I see him out there. See him sneaking along. Just gonna go here and Except I'm going to have to walk all the way through that passageway again, but that way I'm going to just not let him corner me. He's going in where I was, see? He's along. Oh, this guy has, this isn't the one health clock guy, this is the other guy. Oops, he's down here. Well, he's, he didn't actually see us. He, he, looked, he looked disoriented. All right, well, killed him. Is that everybody? It seems like it is. So back through all these little adventurous places. Get up to the second floor. And now. I feel. You know, it's my OCD makes me <laughs> have, to, have to look in all their little inventories. into the balcony. We'll go back around the other way. There, but there was not anything special. Alright, and then there's this room, which we were in before. Hadn't fully looted, and in this corner, notice that there are a lot of microfusion cells. Those are very, very useful. You may think I have more than enough. Uh, and that would be true if I was only going to fire them in their rate more of them in their in their regular form. Uh, but I propose to combine some of them at a workbench into some overcharged or even max charged ones, which is going to give me stuff. It's going to even even higher amount of damage. Now it does more damage, does more repair, quote unquote, damage to the hollow rifle each time I do it. Oh yeah, there it is. So, having done a ridiculous extra amount of damage to ourselves at 272 of 455 possible hit points, still over 50%, we are going to call it quits until next time when you only live once.